Hi guys, let's quickly go through Kawasaki disease today. All right, guys, uh, first of all, uh, I want to let you know that uh, uh, this is, a, uh, uh, I mean, a pediatric disease, and it's mostly seen in kids under five years old. Uh, so a child might present, uh, uh, that child might be one year old, three year old, four year, or maybe seven or eight years old, all right? So the child might present with a high grade fever, which will be around, uh, maybe a mother might be telling that it's around like uh, five days that he's getting high grade fever, uh, around 101 degree Fahrenheit or uh, 102 degree Fahrenheit, all right? So first is uh, high grade fever, which you need to look at. Secondly, there will be uh, redness of the conjunctivae, and uh, it will the appearance of the eyes will be just like uh, conjunctivitis. All right. And then you see that uh, tongue is uh, uh, is uh, bright red in color, just like a child has eaten strawberries. So, and also you see cracked lips along with this uh, strawberry looking tongue. All right. Uh, then you go ahead and you notice there is a rash on the body and this rash is actually macular in nature then you notice uh, swelling of the hands and feet and there is also like redness of the palms and soles a uh, child might be looking a bit dehydrated and uh, there could be uh, I mean some like uh, symptoms uh, which are uh, related to gastroenteritis kind of uh, thing uh, for example a child might be telling that uh, he has pain in tummy and there might be a history of loose stools as well and there might be uh, some uh, complaints about like uh, some vomiting as well so guys but uh, don't get confused uh, this thing with uh, any other uh, like uh, as a like a tummy bug or a, um, stomach flu all right so you just need to focus on few things which are uh, salient features of Kawasaki disease all right so one feature is like okay redness of the conjunctivity and this is the strawberry tongue a uh, very specific feature for the Kawasaki disease is the strawberry tongue and then there's a swelling of the palms and soles and the redness and this rash is a very specific which is a macular in nature it can be uh, seen on the whole body all right so guys always remember like Kawasaki disease with a red Kawasaki bike you know it's a, a look amazing uh, bike and uh, you can always like uh, just to I mean cram the stuff it's a good uh, kind of imagination for you like whenever in exam you see Kawasaki disease and then you should remind reminded of this bike red bike and then strawberry red tongue redness in eyes redness of palms and soles all right so let's quickly go through uh, what's actually happening in Kawasaki disease in Kawasaki disease you see inflammation of the blood vessels which we call as vasculitis all right exact cause is unknown but recently there was some uh, link between COVID-19 and Kawasaki disease so you might be hearing it news all the time all right but uh, nothing to worry about because if like these children present quickly in emergency so we treat them with um, oh, IV immunoglobulins and aspirin and then uh, this thing uh, can be like uh, it's uh, uh, I mean progress of the disease can be stopped uh, diagnosis is mostly uh, on the basis of uh, like uh, sim symptoms and the signs and there is no specific test to diagnose Kawasaki disease hence you will see that uh, it's, um, whenever a child present with this uh, kind of uh, picture you will see that inflammatory markers will be raised and the ESR will be raised so like uh, not to confuse it with any other illness so you have to diagnose it uh, pinpoint then you have to treat it accordingly with the IV immunoglobulins guys all right so the best thing is that if a child present under 10 days because after 10 days uh, these children sometimes might develop um, cardiac problems for example if this uh, you know there's there is a uh, inflammation of the blood vessels and there can uh, be uh, formation of thrombus in the blood vessels and this thrombus can lodge in the coronary blood vessels which can lead to myocarditis myocardial infarction as well you know and pericardial effusion and pericarditis is also seen 
So this is the number one disease in children with acquired cardiac problems. Always remember that. All right. So here is guys a little poem which you might which you uh, might have heard many times, or you mommy have uh, told you when you were a baby. So here is a poem just to remember the uh, symptoms and signs of this disease. All right. So it will help you uh, in your exam time and in your practical life. Guys, here's the poem. Baby, baby, yes, mama. High fever, no, mama. Tummy rash, no, mama. Strawberry tongue, no, mama. Telling lies, no, mama. Open your mouth, ha, ha, ha. So, guys, keep smiling and subscribe to my channel, Dr. Humera Kesat. And thanks for watching.